What we have here is a care package sent to me by Lilygo. We're going to be turning these devices into pen testing multi-tools, similar to a Flipper Zero. In this package, there's some of Lilygo's top devices for pen testing. Um, so we got the T-Embed, the T-Embed CC1101, the T-Deck, and the T-Deck Plus. To save you time, this is the best device you can get, the C1101, and it's 54 hours. Now, unlike a Flipper Zero, where it's almost 170, depending on where you are in the world, and there's some parts of the world that you can't even get it. So we're going to be using the Roost firmware. We're going to be installing it on all of the Devices. I'm going to show you how to do it using the web flasher and on a Chromebook to show you how easy it is to actually create this stuff. This is from their website so you can see all the tools that you get. These are the two main devices that we're going to be programming today. If you want to see the full unedited unboxing, please go follow me on Rumble and go check out that live stream. I usually stream once a week there. We just hang out and work on projects together. There's also YouTube non-friendly videos there. So let's jump into the unboxing. Can we get some hype in chat for the unboxing? All right. This looks suspicious. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. Let's see what we got here. This guy, this one, the uh, the other one. Then we got the T Deck Plus. And then we have the original T Deck. So we're gonna try to turn these all into pen testing devices. So that's that. All right, let's jump into the setup. Also cool, I remember these things have magnetic backs. So to program these, you have to hold down the middle button while you plug it into the computer. So we're going to do that now. But while we're on the Bruce firmware here, we're going to go over and click LilyGo. And we have the T-Embed. Scroll down. And we need to connect. So we need to connect this. So we gotta make sure we hold down the center button when we do this. It just popped up here on my screen. Install. Erase device. Next, install. So right now, I'm programming this device to be a hacking multi-tool right now. It's that easy. I'm on the Bruce firmware web, web flasher right now. It's currently installing the firmware on this device right now. It's that easy. So this guy, I think, runs you about $50. And... It's not, you, I'm doing this on a Chromebook. But this is a Chromebook. Like, this is how, you don't need a special computer. You can literally do this on a Chromebook. Go. Installation is complete. Okay, so I'm going to leave this to the side. So we're going to turn this on. So just so you know, it's it's the middle button to is the uh, re, uh, the boot button. So as soon as you hold that down, you plug it in, it gets into the boot mode, and then you're able to install what you want to install. So we're installing the firmware right now. Okay, complete. So we just made two hacking multi-tools right now. So TMBED, 
So now this is another one they sent me. So this one, I believe, this one's a little different. It seems lighter. So it comes with a bunch of screws and stuff. This one feels lighter. See, I don't think this thing has a battery in it. Okay, so no battery. This feels smoother though. I'm gonna hold this down. Connect. Start the erasing process. Install, full erase. Okay, so now I'm flashing the firmware onto this guy right now. Installation is complete. This guy is done, so I should be able to Nice. So that's the difference. This one doesn't have the battery. This is, I think, $20 cheaper, but this one does. So if you want to just get the gadget itself, you're probably better off getting this one. But uh, I definitely recommend the battery one if you want an all well put together device. I can, actually, I can probably swap these backs out. Yeah, look, I can actually swap the backs out. So I got like the black there. That's pretty cool. With the T deck as well. So this is, wow, look how cool that is. It's cheaper because it's not the full, full put together T deck plus. This, this has a battery and the special back, while this one does it. I kind of like this approach though. I wonder how easy it is to put an external battery on this thing. So let's go ahead and flash the Bruce firmware on this too. Okay. T deck, connect. Right, it's installing to this device right now. It is done. So now I should be able to turn this on. I think this is cooler as a hacking device. Like how cool this looks. The only thing is you're gonna need you need power. That's the only thing. As soon as you unplug it. All right, that's it for this video. So thank you, Lily Go, for sending me these products to do this uh, video for. I really do like that you, there's so much flexibility when it comes to these devices. I can either use it for mesh testing gear or uh, off grid communications, or I can use it for pen testing. Uh, my biggest recommendation again is the Lilygo CC1101. That's the one you're gonna want to get that has the best capabilities and for the you get the best bang for your buck and all in one package if you're really looking for a flipper zero alternative. Um, I like that it has Wi-Fi pens testing right out of the gate and uh, that's why I recommend it the most. All the other devices are pretty cool but I like stuff that's just ready to go and easy to use and you saw how easy it was to set up and use in this video. Now I want to do a shout out segment for some community members. Uh, Man in the Mayhem is a really good content creator. He's part of the community and he made a really good detailed oriented thorough video on everything a Lily Go CC1101 can do. He gives you a nice guide and explains every little bit in detail. I highly recommend go checking out his video. 
Um, and also go check out Cherry Tomato. He's also new. He posted his first video today and about the Lily Go uh, CC1101. Go check out his video. Um, he ha has some modifications he did on his to get better range. He also does a great job explaining the components of the uh, device. So definitely go check out both of them. I'll leave their links in the description. I also will leave links to all the products in this video. And remember, if you use code GhostStrats on lilygo.cc on their website, uh, you'll be able to save 5% on your order. So again, that's 5% use code GhostRats on their website. Again, all the links will be in the description. If you want to be a channel member, it helps support the channel because YouTube doesn't support their creators. Um, I really do appreciate all the support. It helps fund these videos. It helps fund all my projects that I do. Make sure you follow me on Rumble because YouTube hates me pretty much. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.